What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing a home chest calisthenics only workout with our equipment. I know that is a very common title, that is a very common clickbait title for YouTube, and you're probably going to find a thousand of videos on a home chest workout with our equipment, but as you guys probably know, we don't only give you a cookie cutter routine, not a cookie cutter program, but we actually are based on principles and we have a reason and an intention for each exercise and for each routine that we're doing. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So again, you're not gonna need any equipment, maybe a bench to elevate yourself or any elevated surface that can serve you to do both uh, decline push-ups and incline push-ups. And we're gonna get into the exercise now. Now, the uh, goal of this routine, it is tapping into the different energy systems that our body has. I don't wanna get into too much detail of those energy systems. If you really want me to get in detail, please leave it down below and we'll make a video specifically talking about those energy systems. But the three main energy systems that we have are the ATP system or the phosphocreatine uh, system, which is the one that we use the most when we're working towards max strength. Max strength, we go towards three to five reps. But in this workout, we're gonna be focusing mostly on time. We're gonna be working in duration instead of reps. So. What we do is three to five reps with a specific tempo that is according to a strength, it is equal to about less than 20 seconds should be a strength focus exercise. Then the second energy system would be a glycogenic pathway where you use glycogen in your muscle and it doesn't require, like these two systems doesn't require that much oxygen uh, to actually perform an exercise. It actually requires no, no oxygen. Then we go into the third one, which is the aerobic system or muscular endurance. And then it's when we go into 25 plus reps. Again, I don't wanna get into too much detail. I'm gonna be referring to that while I'm explaining the exercises. So the first exercise, we're going for six exercises uh, in circuit style with a transitional rest of five seconds in between those exercises. You can either avoid the transitional rest or increase the transitional rest if it's way too hard. And you're looking for two to three rounds of the entire routine, or you can just do it once and it will only take you five minutes. The first exercise is going to be plyometric, plyometric switching grip push-ups. We're gonna go for close to open, and here we're gonna be working on explosiveness first, working on the type two muscle fibers, the fast twitch muscle fibers, which are the fibers that activate uh, the faster uh, when you begin working out, and then you begin tapping into the type two muscle fibers. And especially when you're working explosiveness, you are emphasizing more of those fibers. And our chest, specifically, is about 50 to 50%, so we need to work on both of those type of muscle fibers. So we're gonna begin explosiveness. Uh, close grip. Again, we're gonna go for time instead of reps. This time we're gonna go for 15 seconds. So if you follow a tempo, an ideal tempo for explosiveness, which could be something from a three to five second eccentric and an explosive coming up, and then a three to five second eccentric, explosive coming up. Now, the eccentric, it is super, super important that you do it slower and slow. And the reason is because you're actually preventing injuries from that impact that you get into the floor. And what is the most important is you're working explosive. You're not working fast and uncontrolled. So it's exploding as fast as you can on the concentric part, and then when you land, really absorbing the impact and controlling that negative portion or the eccentric, again, to avoid injuries and to have enough force then to push yourself up. So if you're using that tempo and we're going for 15 seconds, you should be able to only do three to five reps, which is an ideal rep range when you're working towards explosiveness, trying not to get to failure. Then right away, we're gonna go into one arm push-up, 
with an ideal tempo of 2, 1, X, 1, meaning that eccentric, we go for two seconds, then we hold the bottom for one second, then we X is as fast as you can go coming up. Now, now we're topping into the uh, ATP system. We're working towards a strength. We're gonna go for 20 seconds on each side. So if you follow that tempo, you should be able to get to three to five reps. Here, I encourage you to use a progression that allows you to actually get to failure on those reps. And if you don't get to failure, just increase instead of two, one, X, one, you would go to four, uh, one X one. So basically you increase the eccentric. So you come down one, two, one second plus, then you go X one second and then you repeat. Now if you see that X, people say okay as fast as you can, but you see me, it probably takes me like one or two seconds. It is the same as if you are doing a deadlift. The tempo of the deadlift is actually to be as explosive as you possibly can, but obviously if you have uh, 400 uh, pounds and I'm waiting like 160, it's gonna look like very, very slow. But the mentality is to be fast on the movement and fast, not as explosive as before, but with enough force that you are not like controlling that concentric, if that makes sense. And in the centric, two seconds is good. You don't wanna overdo it because that is, come, that is gonna come later on when we work towards hypertrophy which is the third exercise. Before I get into the third exercise, if you don't have a one-arm push-up, uh, I recommend to have one arm completely extended, ideally with your elbow locked out and in your fingers, if you can do it. So maybe extend your arm a little more. If you can do one finger, even better. Always trying to find that balance where you don't uh, twist too much with your body and you try to be completely straight. I know you guys have been requesting for a one arm push up tutorial. If you want one, leave it in the comment section down below and we'll do that one. But again, one finger, three fingers, or if you just want to work on archer push ups, a progression that six rep, you are dying. Like by the 20 second mark, you shouldn't be able to do more. That way we're really tapping on that ATP system in the phosphocreatine uh, system and we're working really towards a strength. Mind you, and a huge disclaimer, you're always tapping into all different energy systems. It's not that you're only using creatine, you're only using glycogen, you're only using oxygen. Your body is much more complex than that, but we're emphasizing that. And the goal of uniting all those uh, different energy systems is so we get a full, complete uh, spectrum of neurological adaptation in our body. So it's not about of just getting a one rep max or increasing on max endurance, but being a complete overall strong athlete. I talk a lot, I know. Third one, <laughs> decline push-ups. We're gonna go for 45 seconds. Now we're gonna be tapping into a glycogenic pathway, which is where you use the most amount of glycogen that is stored in your muscles, basically carbohydrates per se. And this is gonna be targeted more towards hypertrophy. So the tempo for hypertrophy, there are millions of ways and hypertrophy, you can create it in a thousand of ways. You can, if you do a thousand reps and you get a failure, you're creating hypertrophy. Uh, failure is actually what is really gonna tell you, you are breaking muscle fibers, your muscle is going to grow. So try to go to failure. We're gonna go for diamond decline push-ups and the reason we're going diamond and decline is because our upper chest, for most of us, is the lagging area that we have the most. So that's the exercise that I chose to be for hypertrophy. Tempo, let's go for a four second eccentric. So one, two, three, four, one second pause, two second concentric, one, two, and then one second at the top. It could also be four second eccentric, so one, two, three, four, one pause, and then explosive, and then one second at the top. The most important part when we're working towards hypertrophy and when we're trying to tap into that glycogenic pathway, it is that we really control that eccentric uh, to really create muscle fiber damage through our entire body right now in our chest, so our chest can grow. Next one, it is going to be incline push-ups. 
So after you're done with the decline diamond push-ups, which is gonna be 45 seconds on the entire set, it should be around eight to 12 reps if you are doing uh, the tempo kind of correctly. Again, it is about getting to failure when we're trying to create hypertrophy and when we're trying to build muscle. Now let's go into the next one, which is going to be for mostly a max endurance in our muscle. Now, of course, since we're tapping into all this energy system, by the time you're doing the hypertrophy one, which is was number three, you are already creating endurance because it is the total time under tension that you are creating. So even though we're separating by energy systems and tempos and ways of specifying that energy system, as I said, your body's like very, very complex. But for this one, we're gonna go in supination and we're gonna go incline, with our hands incline. Uh, which is gonna emphasize more the lower portion of our chest. The one that we did was to emphasize a little bit more the upper portion. Basically, it replicates what an incline bench press would do, having the, your arms in this angle. This one is replicate, it's gonna replicate what a decline uh, bench press would do. And the reason I chose to do a supinated is because you get, when you go into internal rotation, your chest does like millions of functions. Uh, horizontal adduction, AD, as well as it's an horizontal pushing movement pattern, but it also gets more engagement by, I mean, it actually acts as an internal rotator. So if we place our hand, but it's especially internal rotator on the upper fibers of our chest, right now we're trying to emphasize the lower fibers. So if we go into supination, these fibers get a little bit more of a stretch, especially if we put it here, and we can really emphasize more on that lower portion of our chest. It's like doing a straight bar dips right here. So place your hands at about shoulder width. Now, since we are on a endurance, max endurance, muscular endurance set, we're gonna go for 90 seconds. Now, the tempo for endurance, it is the tempo and in the intensity. The intensity shouldn't be too high, and depending on the workout and your work schedule, uh, it's not necessary to go to failure. So try to choose a progression that you leave time for what is to come. The exercise is you lean forward. Now, you bring, like you are squeezing the, the bench or whichever you have, like even if your hands are not moving, you are creating that contraction in your chest and you're getting more activation in your pectoral muscles. So from here, create that activation, squeeze everything together, lower down with control, full range of motion, and then push yourself up. Make sure your shoulders are not showing in, but they are completely depressed. And then when you're coming down, naturally allow your scapula to retract. And when you push up, if you wanna add something for your serratus, add some protraction and squeeze your arms together so you get more activation on your chest. You're gonna go for 90 seconds there, and now we're tapping into the third uh, energy system, which is the aer aerobic uh, energy system, which is the one that requires oxygen. Now, when you work uh, for conditioning or where you type into that uh, energy system, it actually allows you to recover faster for anaerobic uh, energy systems, like the two that we mentioned previously. So doing this workout as a full simulation and neurological adaptation of your entire uh, energy system in your body is gonna allow you to be more explosive, build more muscle, which is relatable to be more, to build strength, which a strength is relatable to building muscle. So basically it's a combination of just being a badass, in short. <laughs> then we're gonna go for, so you go for 90 seconds on that one. Uh, you rest five seconds, transitional rest. Next one is gonna be a slow push-up plus protraction. We're gonna go for 15, 15, 15, 15 seconds. So the, right now we're gonna be going again to the large uh, muscle fibers. And we are between the ATP system combined with the uh, glycogenic pathway because we're really working very, very, very slow. And we're working mostly on that tight two muscle fibers off our chest. What we're gonna be doing is wrap your triceps in, keep good form always on your push-up. I don't think I need to 
get into that on this video you're gonna go for 15 seconds coming down make sure I'm doing it wrong right now my elbows is behind my wrist well not wrong there's no wrong exercise it's more effective if you are right here make sure your shoulders are down you're gonna come down for 15 seconds then once you get to the bottom you're gonna hold for 15 seconds isometric contraction so we're not only doing a slow rep but we're also working on asymmetric hold when you're doing an isometric is when antagonist and agonist muscles are working together after the 15 seconds hold on the bottom you're gonna begin pushing up for 15 seconds if you cannot do it or if you get tired at any point just lower your knees and keep going with the movement feel the burn you're gonna feel the burn after the 15 seconds that you get at the top what I want you to do is protract your scapula and depress your scapula that way the last 15 seconds hold you are working on the serratus anterior which is a very very uh, underrated muscle that we don't tend to work that much so 15 seconds coming down 15 seconds hold at the bottom 15 seconds pushing up and then 15 seconds in a plus with a protraction if 15 seconds is too much you can go to 10 or you can go to 5 then you take a five seconds of a transitional rest and we move on to the last one which is a straight arm horizontal adduction uh, an isometric contraction we're gonna go for 30 seconds i'm gonna be doing this with my dad uh, because it is father's day but if you don't have a partner just grab either a plate or it can be only your hands what i want you to do is in horizontal meaning that your hand is completely uh, in front of your shoulder unless you want to work on your upper chest you can be here or your lower chest you can be here what I want you to do is squeeze everything together and just get that activation in your chest like I said your chest not only do the, this motion right here but it also works a lot on adduction of your arm horizontal adduction and it is something that we don't tend to work that much in calisthenics and I thought about like putting socks and just doing a sliding but that is a very advanced exercise and I want this routine to be accessible for a lot of people and with push-ups unless you like push up and you try to like squeeze this together you can get some type of adduction but you don't get that full adduction and even this is not full adduction actually this will be full adduction but for now I know I'm talking a lot today. You're just gonna squeeze everything together and what I'm going to do with my dad is that he's going to push me away and I'm gonna have to close it isometrically as much as I can for 30 seconds to get that maximum ultimate contraction and rupture of the entire muscle fibers of the chest. So you build strength, you build muscle, you build endurance and you tap into all the energy system and as you probably notice it, we are working on all the different angles. So it's different energy system, different angles of your chest, uh, different goals and different methodologies that all combine and apply together. If you do this workout two or three times per week, you're gonna build a chest, that's for sure. You're gonna have a huge chest. You're gonna become stronger, a lot stronger in your pushing movements. And you're also gonna be more efficient, not only in pushing, but in your entire, in the way that your body produces energy. Because we tend to work for strength, we tend to work for hypertrophy, we tend to work for endurance, conditioning, separate. Now, today, we're gonna be working everything together. We're gonna be putting all the effort into just one single workout, combining principles and combining techniques to get the best out of every single work. So, whenever you guys are ready, let's begin. All right, guys, are you guys ready? I'm gonna bring my biggest inspiration in life, Josue Saturno, my dad, for the second time in Saturno Movement Channel. Come over here. Hey, you don't give the back to the camera, but that's okay. <laughs> you wanna say hi to the camera? Okay. okay, so you're ready to start? Yes. Are you guys ready to start? We're gonna begin in five seconds from the moment that I press the bottom. Remember, we begin with plyometric, plyometric, uh, close to white push-ups. So three, two, one, let's go. Remember to control the negative. Explore as fast as you can go up. And breathe. And break. Five seconds only. 
Get ready for one arm push up or modifications towards that. Right hand and let's go. Second break, right here, feet on the bench, diamond, decline, yes, get your core, and let's go. Here we're going control, for that hypertrophy, that muscle fiber breakdown to happen. So two seconds coming down. Once you're at the top, scroll up. We have three seconds left. And that's it. Right, five seconds. Go to the opposite. That is totally fine because let's go. Supination grip and come down. This one we're doing a control, controlado. Thank you, Nito. And breathe. It's okay that he stopped before the 40 seconds. He's still getting hypertrophy, muscle fiber breakdown for sure, as well as a strength. And we're tapping into all neuro neurological adaptation whatsoever. Take a five second break, cinco segundos de descanso, y vuelve. So this is long, a long set. We're working towards endurance, ideally 70 at least seconds should last your set I think you got one second break one two we still got 25 seconds 20 seconds more let's go you got this bro bro <laughs> you know you love your dad when you call your dad bro <laughs> Come. Good. Almost a single song. Come. And break. Five second break. I mean, slow push up. So get down. 15 seconds coming down. Let's go. We're late. We're late. Come down slow. Slow. Elbows in, los hombros, los codos para adentro. Eso. Aguanta. If you need to go to your knees to rest, you rest. Good, aguanta. Aguanta. Three, two, one. Now start pushing up for 15 seconds. Empieza a empujar por 15 segundos. That extra protraction for the serratus. Center it to your shoulders, lower your hips down. Push, no push, no, mantente arriba. Isometric contraction. Push more, round, round your spine, <laughs> and come down. <laughs> we got five seconds. Now, come here. Try to close. Close for 30 seconds, as much as you can. Go hard. Go hard, do the activation on your back, on your chest. Trata de estirar los codos. Eso es. Baja los hombros. Ahí. Ciérrame, ciérrame. Ciérrame. Good. I think I'm also working my chest here. Oh. <laughs> <Hey, buddy. laughs> Handbrake. Five seconds. Now you do it to me. Uf. 
ciérrame, al revés, al revés, ábreme, eso es. So if you don't have a partner, like I said, just squeeze something together. If you want some extra serratus work, put like that scapula. If you want some upper chest activation, lower down so your arms are in an angle. Breathe. I hope I have two seconds left. I guess, yes. Woo! <laughs> so there you have it, guys. As I said, we are tapping into all energy systems. So it's not only building muscle, it's not only endurance, it's not only being explosive, but it's a complete neurological adaptation that you get in your, in your chest in this case, but in your entire body, just because you're, ty you're tapping into ATP, into glycogen, as well as aerobic, which actually increase the recovery for anaerobic exercises and basically a complete chest workout, not your typical chest home workout. So, if you enjoyed this video, like it, share, subscribe, you know guys what to do, and I'll see you all next time. Let's go.